Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Tue. So I'm going to be reading today. I'm going to be reading a book called Thank You, Mr. Panda. And it's Gracias, Sino Panda. So I tried this thing where I tried to connect this book with another story, a lady named uh, Miss Lorado, a teacher and a librarian. Um, who was reading the story in Spanish. I was like, what a great idea. I can connect the story and the Spanish version for the two videos together and see how it works. I did one. It was great. But there were so many little, little, I was like, oh, I can do it again. And I tried it and it didn't work. And I was like, wait, why is the voice not coming over again like it did in the other video? But it was my first try. It worked the first time. I did it two times. It was like, I couldn't get the voice in. I was just like, you know, while she's reading, I'm hearing it, but when I go play the recording, I can't hear her, so I'm sorry. But I probably will upload the first one because I thought it was an interesting blend. I have to figure out how to do that, how to make, you know, to connect two voices together on the video on YouTube. I'm just learning, so. But I read this book. I read the English part. It has dual language, right? It has English and Spanish dual languages then I wish I could speak Spanish but I don't know how but it's written by Steve Antoni and it's a scholastic book okay it says thank you Mr. Panda gracias Senor Panda <gasps> Mr. Panda I see what are these they're gifts hmm I wonder if it's somebody's birthday or is it just a gift? I don't know. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five presents. I don't know who those presents are for. Well, let's read the story and find out. Read the story and find out. Aha, uh -huh. there's this little fella right there. Do you see him? Yes, lemon. So the story is actually Mr. Panda who, I mean, Mr. Panda has brought special gifts, gifts for his friends, but the presents aren't quite right. Mr. Panda and Limor remind everyone that it's the thoughts that count. That's what the story is, Lemon. I remember this little guy. It's the same guy, well, not this one, someone drew this picture, but same kind of animal that was in the Lion King, remember? Akuma Matata, he, Timon, and Pumba. Timon was in, uh, in Pumba. Timon was the limo who keeps riding the bullhorn, remember? The bullhog in uh, Lion King, and he said, he said, you have to put, don't worry, put your past in your, I mean, behind you, right? You'd be like, Akuma Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Akuma Matata, for the rest, of, don't worry for the rest of the day. Akuma Matata, it's a guy. And then Madagascar, I like to move and move it. He likes dancing. This animal likes to dance. He'd be like, I like to move it. I like the movie, movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, he's helping Mr. Panda. And in here it says, thank you, Mr. Panda. Gracias, sino Panda. Gracias, thank you, means thank you. So when do we say thank you? Thank you is the magic word. We say thank you when someone has done something really nice for us you say thank you if someone has um you know help us do something we say thank you so we always want to say thank you okay so in spanish thank you is gracias that's all i know because if i try to speak in spanish you'll be like oh miss tui what are you saying i need to learn look who's here he said uh, who are all those presents for? See, Mr. Panda's carrying his present. He's about to deliver them. He's about to drop them off, like, you know. He said, for my friends, 
put on mis amigos. Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna try. Because and then he said, This is for mouse. A present for me? I was trying to figure if I should speak the Spanish part at all. Este es para el ratón. A present for me? Look, Miles is so surprised. He's like, a present for me? Un regalo para mí, Mr. Panda? Un regalo, un regalo para mí, Mr. Panda? Am I trying? Oh, I tried it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. He tried it on. Look. He said, but it's too big. Paro is demasiado grande. It's the thoughts that count. Lo cu cuanta e la intacion. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. I want to try because I've tried. This is like my fourth video trying to do this. One, I got it with the lady speaking in it. The first one I tried, there was no sound. I was like, wait, maybe I forgot to attach the audio. I tried the second time, no audio. Uh, so this is my fourth time, and I am going to try the Spanish. <laughs> this is for octopus. Este es para pupo. A gift for me, Mr. Panda? Un regalo para mí? You know, Panda? Look, the octopus is like so surprised, wasn't expecting the gift from Mr. Panda. He said, Un regalo para mí, Mr. Panda? He's like so surprised. But uh, oh, what's happening here? I see gifts on these legs, but not on these. One octopus has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But he said, I have eight legs. Pero yo tango ucho patas. Pero yo tango ucho patas. And he's like, uh, I like the gift, but I'm missing two. Eight? Two? What happened to the other two? Mr. Panda said, it's the thought that count. Loco cuanta e la intacion. It's the thought that count. I am speaking Spanish today. I am. <laughs> He's like, this is for elephant. Este es para elefante. I think that's how you said that. Elephant's like, I will open it later. Lo abriré mes tarde. That elephant. There's only one right here again. I got the gift. I think elephant was happy, but he probably just couldn't hold it right at the time because. He has to use his trunk to carry it because he uses his, see, he has one, two hands and one, two foot, well, 
legs, all four legs. He's walking. He's like, I'll open it later. Maybe when I sit down and stuff, I'll open it later. What is this? This is a hot air balloon. Look who's up here, Levon. He's such a great friend. He's following him all over the place. He says, and this is for Mountain Goat. E este en para cabre motesa, motesa, cabre motesa. Look, you know what a mountain is? You seen the mountain? It's like a land that's like flat, and then it just starts to build up little by little, and gets higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and it's so high and so tall where like you can't even reach the top you can't touch the top it's so high so we have certain goats that's where they live they live like way up very high up in the mountain and i think that's why he had to take a higher balloon because higher balloons you don't take a higher balloon to just drive like you could just get in a car and drive but you have to go somewhere that's high up so how smart is he he told him, he said, and this is for mounting goat. Ye este es para cabra matesa. Something for me, Mr. Panda? Agro para mi? Senor pa Panda? Sorry, y'all. I know I'm not pronouncing the Spanish word right, but I'm trying. Remember, it is the thought that counts. Got you. <laughs> he's like, so if he's like surprised, look at the goat. The goat is like, I, I, uh, I, I got, I got a gift. What? And he tried it. He opened. Look, he opened it so quickly, and dropped it off, and said. But uh, it, it it's too long. Pero es demasiado largo. Pero es demasiado largo. And what did Mr. Panda say? It's the thought that counts. Like me trying to read Spanish. It's the thought that counts. Lo, lo que sienta es la intención. Lo que suente, sienta es la intención. Intención. I'm reading Spanish today. <laughs> That's because I tried four videos. I made four videos. One, it went through, the other two didn't. This is the fourth one. I am reading Spanish today. I'm gonna learn this, but I'm gonna read this Spanish today. Because what? It's the thought that counts. Aw, uh, he's like, uh, who is the last person for Mr. Panda? <gasps> But I can. Es el último regalo, Sino Panda. Huh. I don't think I said that one right. Let me try again. Para I can. Es el último regalo, Sino Panda. Huh. Mm. That's Spanish right there. Look, he's looking at him. He's like, who's that last present for, Mr. Panda? He said, it's for you. Hey, Parati. Hey, Parati. He's like, oh, for me? Look at his eyes and his mouth. He's like, look, fighting. His hands like spread out like, for me? Oh, oh, that's French. That's French. Oh, my. <coughs> okay, I'm mixing up my languages here. <laughs> uh, and you 
Mr. Panda. Gracias, you know, Panda. He like so excited. Uh, he's like ripping off the, the package, opening up the paper. Mr. Panda says, you're welcome, but remember, say, de nada, pero recuan, recuerda, okay, let's forget that one. I know de nada, de nada. You're welcome. But remember, he opens it and already puts it on. He's like, uh, what? That thing don't fit. It's too big. He's like, uh, he tried to pant on. Look, all the way here, all the way here. And there he is right there. It's the thought that counts. Lo que sienta es la intención. Whoa. See how nice Mr. Panda is? He gives gifts to all his friends. He gave a sweater to the mouse. He gave a pants to Mr. Lemon. He gave a bow tie to the mountain goat. He gave some presents to the elephants. But it could not fit in the elephants. You know, he's carrying it with his trunk and it's all fell. It's a lot of them. And he gave six pairs of socks. Well, six socks, not pairs. Um, instead of eight to the octopus, because the octopus has eight legs and he he only gave him six. And what was his famous saying? It's the thought that counts. I hope you enjoyed my story. I try. I try my Spanish, like I said. I'm going to upload the other video that I did with the Spanish and then the other one. I'm just like, because I'm hearing the ladies, you know, read. And then when I play the video back, it's like blank space, blank space, blank space, blank space. <laughs> so remember, when you get gifts or you get anything, somebody, if someone does something for you or someone gives you something, Always remember to say the magic word. What's our magic word? Thank you. Remember to always say thank you, right? Because you have to be grateful. Because what? Somebody gave you something. They thought about you. They must have thought about you. They said, oh, I think I'm going to give Miss Tua something today. Oh, my friends. And then when they do give you a gift, you say thank you. Because what? Remember? It's the thought that count. I hope you enjoy reading this story. Uh, I enjoy reading it. Even though I tried the Spanish and I know my Spanish wasn't right, I have to keep practicing saying Spanish. You see my ring? I made my ring using a pipe cleaner. See, I got the pipe cleaner and I got different colors and I'm mixing it up. I really want to make a beautiful ring. You can make, this is just two, I just used two colors. And this one, oh, this is gonna be a thick ring. You can make a bracelet, you know, you can weave it any kind of way and make a bracelet out of it and put it on your hand, right? Or you can weave it, see, I'm gonna weave it like this. You know? And put it on your hand and you have a bracelet. Make something. See, I have a nice bracelet on. Well, it's nice to me. See, I put it on, it looks like a bracelet. Uh, you can take it. I want a gold ring. I like gold. Here you go. Yellow gold. See? You take it and you twist it like that. Oh. And you can make a lot of 
anything, something different. I'm trying to make a heart, heart for my friends. I think this is a heart. Is that a heart? <laughs> in my heart. I'm trying here, like I tried my Spanish. So the reason why I was trying to find a way how, and I have to really figure that out, how to do a uh, read in English and read in Spanish, it's because I do have, um, in my class, I have students that are Spanish speakers and I have students that are English speakers. And I've always been looking for a way to um, read with someone who speaks Spanish, and but they're reading the same book that I'm reading. And, um, and then I speak English and then we can read a story together. <gasps> is that a heart? I think this is a heart. Did it come out like a heart? You see my heart? I made a heart, a heart chip ring to say, I love you, miss you, kisses. Um, so yeah, so I'm still figuring it out. So by now who speaks Spanish and we read together. And that way we have the English version and the Spanish version. All right, love you, miss you. Uh, thank you for listening to me read this book in English and in Spanish. <laughs> I hope you have fun. Remember COVID, you go out, wear your mask, wash your hands when you come back in. Um, yeah, and stay safe, okay? I love you, I miss you. I hold you right here, keep right here. This is where I have all of you, right here, until I can see you again in class, okay? This is love you, be safe. Don't forget to watch my videos, subscribe, okay? So you can be, so you can see my video every time I upload new ones. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.